first thing you want to do is when you open that door is go to your bathroom, you know, go look at the mirror and wait, let me put this down and take your do rag off. Want to step in the shower right after you put the do rag off? Take off your clothes. Don't go in there with your clothes. Come on, guys. So I'll be right back when I'm done taking the shower. But what you want to do in the shower is just brush your hair a couple times, like uh, while it's like wet. Uh, like put your hair in the shower. Don't put like a hot shower. Don't like take a really hot shower. Take like kind of a warm shower that way because if it's really hot it makes your hair super like frizzy and shit um well that's depending on my hair texture but uh yeah and also put conditioner you want to put conditioner every time you wake up in the morning that like take a shower in the morning and put conditioner on yeah so don't take showers at night unless you're like really dirty and then if you are, like, don't get your hair wet, just get every, like, part of your body wet if you're dirty. And if your hair is dirty, then just wet it, you know, who cares? And go put some more conditioner. But don't use shampoo every day. You're supposed to put it, like, two to three times a week. Two to three times out of seven days. That's when you use shampoo, so I'll be right back. Okay, so right now I have some conditioner in my hair, and what you want to do, you don't want to rinse out the conditioner, you want to set it in your hair for like five minutes, okay? So I'm going to brush it in, because I didn't brush it in yet. And uh, I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, well I'm back. So what I can do in between those five minutes is... um. I like I brushed it in and after like the five minutes I kind of just brushed my teeth and then wait a couple more minutes and yeah so uh, I just brushed my teeth so you want to get your products and y'all should brush your teeth you know if you don't brush your teeth you nasty bitch so okay what you want to get is the products that you're using right now I'm not using pomade I'm gonna start using next week though and so the products can be like any product that you like to use any moisturizer and you can combo it up if it's moisturizer and it's all natural like some all natural pomades if you have like one all natural pomade and like another uh different kind of pomade you could uh, combo them up if you want because you know that the other one's natural but if you have like moisturizers um you could uh, combo them up like olive oil and curl enhancing smoothie. So yeah. What you like to do for uh, what I like to do is just get like a finger full. You don't need that much. Get a little bit more because I've not did a lot. You want to just like apply it evenly throughout your hair, like this. Okay. And after you're done, you want to open the other um, moisturizer pack, what you got. I don't care. It really doesn't matter like what you have. Just like try it out. Experiment with your hair with the best products you think uh, is for your hair. So, got my curl enhancing smoothie. I'm gonna do a product breakdown about this tomorrow because I don't got enough time to do it today. Because I'm gonna do the day method and the night method as well today. So, let's, this, this smells amazing. Okay, so what you wanna do, I forgot to do. Can't believe I forgot to do my own thing. You wanna shake it up.
because you know grill enhancing smoothie they have like lots of oils and shit so you want to shake it up get like about a nickel full quarter full of uh, your woofing or something you know just like a nickel full okay see Hope y'all can see, like, my hair is kind of shining right now. My hair is, like, a little bit damp. It's not, like, fully wet. But you do not want to do this while your hair is, like, fully wet or damp. Because curl enhancing smoothie makes it curl too much. So. See them waves, okay. So, if you have a little bit uh, left over, just because I got a little bit left over, then try to put up some more in your hair. But if you got like a lot left over, just put it back in the canister. Don't be wasting. Come on. So once you're done, let me wash my hands. Okay, once you're done, just get your brush and just brush the products in. Let me brush it. And uh, in the morning, uh, if you also want to, you could also like when you're woofing or if your crown is kind of messed up, you could like work on the crown area. But uh, I'll do a video on that later. So yeah. And. After you're done with that, you want to get your plastic bag so you can train your hair real fast. I did a video on this yesterday, so get your plastic bag. Do this every morning if you want. Do this anytime you want to, actually. Just like, stay there. This is to uh, lay all the hair down, all the frizzy hair. Okay, like, it's going to lay down most of the frizzy hair, like, at least 90% of all frizzy hair that you have, then lay it all down. Let me go get my do rag. So I'll be right back. But okay. first, let me keep showing y'all how to do this because y'all, you know, the beginners, they need proper demonstrations on this. So they, they need to know what's up. right back so now you want to get the do-rag kind of uh, want to look in the mirror while you're doing this wow kind of had the line and the other way I had the do-rag I was wearing the do-rag wrong my fault okay you want to have the line up here because if you don't uh, it's gonna leave a line through your hair and gonna look like an idiot basically so you don't you won't be that guy that wears the do-rag wrong Sure, I'd laugh at you. I just tie it like really fast, and then when I, I'm done tying it, I just work on it. Then, so y'all know how to put a do rag on. Hopefully, no, because it's really easy. This is one like once you're done, that's that's when you work on it. So uh, let me uh, pull this back. Okay, 
You want to tie it, tie it however you want to tie it. So once you're done, you could then like do whatever, do it the way you like. I do it like this, just like roll it down, see? Cause that's the way my do-rag is, cause I have two of them. And this is the one I wear in the morning. Cause I just like to wear in the morning. And Wait, see how I look. Yeah, so that's how you put a do-rag on. You know, and you have to put it on and leave it your do-rag on in the morning after you got done doing everything I just showed you. Uh, leave the do-rag on for uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Now, if you're woofing, do it for half an hour in the morning, and then later on, like let's say you're in school or something, you're in high school, come back and then put it on for another half an hour. So you want to get an entire hour for uh, each day when you're wolfing, maybe even longer, and you like want to put some wave caps on to give it more compression. So yeah, that's the morning method. Killer waves out.